Excuse me, sir, you're trying to race? <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something kind of different. If you guys can see what's behind me is a BMW M4 competition. We're gonna get, this is my buddy's car, Marlon. We're gonna take his car and there's gonna be a couple of 335i's and maybe an Audi RS3. And we're gonna check their car out and then we're gonna go uh, do some road races in Mexico. But while we're waiting on that, I want you guys to go hit the like button right now and like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Hey. Right, so Marlon. Marlon, tell us about your M4. Uh, so it's a 2017 M4 competition. Uh, pretty much stock. Uh, got a crank hub done for cheap insurance, cheap insurance, and uh, that's about it. Not too much more done. Stock wheels. Stock wheels. Everything that you see on here is what comes from the uh, factory, like this. So, so how'd you get into cars? Oh man, so uh, that goes back to '03. Uh, my first car was a 19 uh, was a 1990 Toyota Celica GT5 Speed. And uh, that, ever since I got a five-speed manual, I was sold. Um, and so I've had this car for about two years. Um, I kind of went through a progression, 328i, 435, well, let's see, no, 328i, was 07, 335xi, I uh, was 08, and then uh, 2016 435i M Sport, and then to this. So that's kind of been the progression. I had some other cars previously, but uh, before BMW, they all were just kind of meh. When you had the 328i, did you have that M badge on it? Oh, <laughs> I, you know what? It crossed my mind at the time, but uh, that was back before I knew that that was a cardinal sin. So, luckily, I never badged up badged any of my cars. As a matter of fact, I kind of wanted to debadge this one. So, now you got to be proud of owning an M. Uh, I am. I am. It's more so uh, the amount of work I had to do to get it. Like uh, mm -hmm. this was my dream car. This was not. I want a BMW. I want something to flex or look good. There were a lot of other cars I could have got. I considered the Camaro LT1, uh, Mustang GT350, some of the cars that were in a similar class. Uh, but this one won out because of the looks, uh, the upgradability, uh, the style, just everything about it just was perfect. So uh, I think this is going to be it for the foreseeable future. Who's going to win it against that N54 335i? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, depends on how much truth is being told. So if he's uh, <laughs> if he's only got a few mods, I might I might be able to to take him. But if there's anything under there with turbos uh, that have been upgraded, it's probably gonna be his race. So apparently on this car, uh, they said it's stage one downpipes intake blow valve I see a bigger intercooler right here catch can so I don't know what's going on with that car I'm not a big n54 guy but I don't know if you guys see anything any hidden mods it seems like it's on stock turbos intake blow valve yeah I don't see any upgraded ESR wheels it is on ESR wheels and it has pullovers I don't know what brand pullover, it's probably eBay or Pony, I'm not sure. Right, so the other group, they're standing right behind me and they don't want to talk. I don't know if they're camera shy or what, but we're going to see. Now we're about to head out on the tollway of Mexico and we're going to go 335i versus M4. That's an automatic transmission, but with like pedal shifters and the M4 is pretty much stuck, but it has a DCT transmission. So we're going to see, oh, it's going to be a good one. If the 335i is telling the truth, so it's going to be a close race. But let's see. One, two, three. If I got into, uh, I thought 
thought if I got into, uh, mm-hmm. okay. yeah, keep talking. I thought if I got into um, battleship mode early, mm-hmm. like I thought I could maybe spool it up, but I fucked it up. So I just let the car decide. Hey, one more, one more, let's go. One or two more, we can do it, but slow down so we don't run into traffic. today I believe in technology because the way he and his car was shifting I feel like they didn't even have a transmission DCT for the win absolutely and I was taking it up to the yellow line too and I probably I probably was not shifting as well as I could have mm-hmm. Man, look at that traffic yep. oh, shit. that's not good yeah so anyway but I've never I've never driven this car like this this like back to back or any of that mm-hmm. so this has been this has been a new thing for me like I didn't even know what this car was capable of this car is capable of a lot <laughs> <laughs> that's putting it mildly I know I know a few M owners out there uh, from a different group and their cars are like M3 M4s just like mine mm-hmm. and their cars are modded and crazy fast yep. so yeah it's it's been a it's, it's been a good little exercise all right guys so this was it there were a couple of good runs the 335 got marlon and his m4 in some cases but then in most cases marlon did take over them the other heads up is we don't want to talk shit or tra- trash to anyone they both did good marlon is obviously stuck and but the good part is he has dct which is like a game changer baby and the 335i i think he's not on stock turbos upgraded turbos and then um they also had five people but it is what it is. It was just for fun. And we were just, t- uh, it's a Saturday, boys' night out. We were having fun. And thank you to Marlon to be a good sport. We're going to see him off and around. We're going to go on cruises and everything. If you guys, and the 335i, they're not here yet. They went to go get a gas. But it's getting dark, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.